everybody, and thanks for joining us for another Winfield's Food Recipe Review International Edition. We are doing another international copycat recipe. Now, we've done many copycat recipes where they're actually from all from scratch. And then recently we started doing, so recently we started doing some where we're actually getting as many ingredients from whatever establishment it may be, like Taco Bell. If it's some burrito, we get as many components from the actual restaurant that we can so it tastes the most like it. This one came to us. We are doing research on it. And it just so happened that we posted on Patreon and Paul from Critical Eats said, I'm about to review that. You know, do you kind of want to work together? I said, hell yeah. But as Paul was telling me, taco, T-A-K-O, means octopus. So they tend to call it something different. I guess, hence slider. I did the Google Translate picture option on there and it kept saying writer instead of slider. So I was like, oh my God, okay, I don't know what this is. But I did notice in the picture, it was extremely, extremely red and did not look like taco meat that I was familiar with. So our idea of going to Taco Bell, getting a taco and throwing a chicken tender on there and saying this is the same thing was not gonna work. Clearly that taco shell's not a normal taco shell. If you wanna make it from scratch, here's how you do it. One and three fourths cups of all purpose flour, one and three fourths cups of boiling water, one teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of instant yeast, and one tablespoon of vegetable oil. Go ahead and mix that together. You let it rise for a little while, and then you take it out, and you roll it up in a little thing, you fry it up on each side for about a minute and a half, maybe a minute, depending on the thickness. You got one of these. It did look very fluffy, and it looked very pita-like. even had the little perforated marks on it. And we're at Walmart, and it had one right there, so we're like, let's just go ahead and get that too. Just in case my little homemade one didn't work out too well. So we went to KFC and got just an extra crispy tender. Oh, I will say Paul's looks like it's like tempura chicken. It looks fluffier. Well, last time I checked our local KFC, they didn't have fluffy chicken. So I went on a quest. I did a deep dive on the internet, on the interwebs, for what Japanese taco meat is. After World War II, there were a lot more inhabitants, American, and the local restaurants, there was a couple of them who wanted to make the GIs happy and also make some sales. It's their version of Tex-Mex. So when I saw that, I was like, well, this has to be it. Basically what it is is this. You take a tablespoon of vegetable oil, and half pound ground beef, half pound pork, one packet of taco seasoning. This says two tablespoons of sake. I replaced that with a tablespoon of rice wine vinegar, one tablespoon of soy sauce, and a quarter cup of water. And what gets that vibrant red is two tablespoons of good old ketchup. Ketchup. It looks a lot like at least what was in the picture and what Paul described. As well as you can see it's a little clumpy, a little chunky. And he said there was little itty bitty flecks of tomatoes in there. Just it, he said basically there's some skins. So I chopped, finally chopped up some tomato, put it in there. It's a three cheese blend. I had to do more research to find this one because Paul wasn't completely sure what the cheese was. From what I found for someone else who had it and gave a very detailed breakdown, it was red cheddar, mozzarella, and gouda. And here's your fuda. I'm done. And then gross mayonnaise. I'm really upset about this mayonnaise. And Paul said it would have been better with hot sauce. So we have some Dexter Holland from the offspring, his hot sauce, gringo bandito. And in fact, one of them has Japanese hot pepper. So I figured that just really works out. Let's, let's let Jen do the honors. No, I gotta no, do the first one. The end's it's too big. All right, Jen wants me to take a bite of this bad boy. This is a lot of work. We did all the research and the work, so you don't have to. And you don't have to travel as much. Thank you, Paul. Okay. You're making a weird face, and now I'm scared. No, it's super, super unique. Honestly, the mayo is no, not offensive at all. It tastes like sloppy doughs with chicken tender in it. Yeah. Pretty much. I, I was wondering how that soy sauce was going to be. I mean, because you don't think of like sloppy joe or taco meat with soy sauce. It does add a kick of salt to it, but it almost gives it more of a Worcestershire sauce, like a like a beefier. It's kind of addictive, actually. <laughs> and that soft pita or naan bread, mm. it's actually pretty good. And that, that, that blend of cheese is really unique. But I actually totally agree with Paul on this. It could use some heat. Because he said there was not much actual heat in there. So let's put a little of this gringo bandito hot sauce. Habaneros, jalapenos, and Japanese chili peppers. So Japanese chili peppers, perfect. Actually, the mayonnaise on it is kind of good. I thought it would be gross. I love mayonnaise. Oh my God. The mayonnaise is great on there. Oh my gosh, so good with that on there. That is killer on there. And then you add this hot sauce on there, 
I, every, with every bite, I'm liking this more and more. Weirdly addictive. And the pita was definitely the way to go. I guess it is Tex-Mex, mm -hmm. but not taco. I didn't know, I was open-minded, but that's better than my wildest expectations for that. Mm -hmm. Like I said, it wasn't necessarily taco, but it was almost chili slash sloppy, sloppy joe with all those other components in on it. Honestly, a flavor I've never had before. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. If you want to try this, that's how you try it. Or you can hop on uh, a plane, unless you're in Japan already, you can probably walk down the street. <laughs> hop on a plane, go to Japan, say hi to Paul, and maybe he'll show you where one of these are located. Otherwise, this is how you can do it. I'm a sweaty mess. It's 97 degrees here in, in uh, good old FLA, Florida. Hotter than Hades. So let us know in the comment below if you enjoyed this video. Go on over to Paul's video. Check out the review of The Real Deal. See what, see how close you think we got to it. Does it look like it? Did the way we describe it sound like the way he described it? Obviously, this is not going to be spot on, but I think it's going to be as close as you can get. So here's our last three videos. If you want to see what we've been up to, please hit that subscribe button. Please hit that like button. Hit that notification button. Otherwise, you're not going to know what we're doing. Anyway, guys, as we think, let us know what you think in the comments below. All that other stuff. And until next time.